Hello there, I am G. Martinez and I am covering the 8th grade science curriculum from the state of Texas. Today we are looking at TICS 8.11a, which is the describing relationships between different types of organisms like producers, consumers, predator prey, and parasite hosts. Uh, today specifically we are going to be covering the producer-consumer relationships. Okay. There are different types of diagrams that are used to represent this type of relationships. Uh, starting with the energy pyramid, which is, or it will be the focus of this video. Um, also, we have food chains and food webs, but those are going to be covering in separate videos in the future. Starting with the most basic type of um, pyramid that we can find is this one where we can see the energy coming from the sun and how is that captured by producers to produce glucose and sugars so the rest of the organisms can actually pass that energy to them. Uh, we can see right here that this is the source of energy. We can see the sun. All right, and from there we can see that that energy, radiant energy from the sun is going to be captured by the producers. And then from there are going to be going, or the energy is going to flow upwards to the rest of the organisms. You can see those arrows uh, showing that. So basically, very basically, we're just going to see that we have two main categories in this uh, food pyramid. One category will be the producers which is uh, mostly it will be plants there are other type of photosynthetic organisms but we're going to cover those later on uh, the other main category that we see here is um, consumers All right so let's move on to the next slide now let's talk about trophic levels in an energy pyramid. So what are trophic levels? Well, trophic levels are basically the different type of levels that we have in this type of pyramids. Um, we can see this one's they're actually named. Here are the producers with, which I mentioned before, this is mostly going to be uh, plants. And then from there, all the energy that is captured by the producers are going to be moving up into the rest of the trophic levels. Okay, the primary consumers are going to be the herbivores, you can see right here. Okay, as we move on to the next trophic level, we have the secondary consumers, which are there in this uh, pyramid, they're called the primary carnivores. Then we can have secondary carnivores and sometimes even tertiary or even more, right? These are called secondary consumers because they actually feed from these organisms that are getting all the energy from the plants. Okay, so this feeds from primary consumer, they're called secondary consumers. And at the end, we have what we call the top predators or also known as tertiary consumers. All right, so trophic levels are just the different levels that we have in an energy pyramid. There you go. Now we have um, a rule in the energy transfer for these pyramids. It's called the 10% rule. Okay, better known as the 10% rule. All 
all right we can see over here that at the beginning obviously the energy coming from the sun um, that is captured by the producers well they're gonna make a hundred percent of all the energy that is available for the rest of the organisms but according to the 10 percent rule only 10 percent of this will be passed on to the next level so obviously 10 percent of 100 will be uh, 10 right so if we have uh, whatever amount it will be only the 10 percent passing on from this amount only 10 percent will move out to the next one and from there another 10 percent going to the last level okay this specifically is the arctic tundra energy pyramid Now here we go. On this one we have a specifically biomass. So how amount of biomass is actually passed down to the next trophic levels. And as an example in this one they started with 1000 kilograms. So 10% of 1000 kilograms right will be this amount 100 kilograms so that is the amount of kilomass that is going to be passed to the next trophic level now the herbivores once they feed and get all that energy only 10 percent of that 100 will be passed to the primary consumers i mean i'm sorry to the secondary consumers uh, these are primary consumers these are secondary these are tertiary consumers and from there only 10 percent of 10 which is one is going to be passed to the top carnivores. Okay. We can see that sometimes they don't talk about biomass. Uh, sometimes they specifically talk about calories or kilocalories. Um, in this occasion, in this example, we see the grass represented with 10,000 kilocalories. And then from there, only 10% of the 10,000 are going to be passed uh, to the next trophic level, which is the herbivores or the primary consumers. Uh, from there, 10% are going to be passed to the secondary consumers. 10% of that will be passed to the tertiary consumers. And the other 10% will be passed to um the top predators um, there's several ways to find i'm not a math teacher but a very easy way to find especially when we're playing with numbers like this i have a bunch of zeros it's just to uh, take off one of the zeros to find the 10 percent of that amount like for example over here they started with 10,000 uh, kilocalories and all they did is just slash one zero or you can do the hard work which is to actually divide by 10 right which will give you exactly the same thing 1000 another way will be to multiply this times 0.10 and it will give you exactly the same thing all right so there are three different ways to do it. I'll just stick to the easiest way, which is to slash one of the zeros, and that is the 10% amount from the original. All right. Now, where this all the energy that is lost going? Obviously, we have um, a lot of energy lost. So, where does all the energy go? Well, if we look over here, we can see then most of the energy is going to be used by the actual organisms. So if from whatever amount, let's talk about that other example that that's 10,000 kilocalories. Um, were available by the primary, uh, by the producers. Then um, if only 1,000 kilocalories were passed down to the next or are available for the next uh, trophic level, where, where's all the energy going? 
well, most of the energy is going to be used by the organisms yeah, you know, for metabolic process, uh, heat production, um, digestion, and all type of different um, processes that the body is doing. Um, so 90% of all that amount of energy that is uh, there on a trophic level will be used, will be actually used by the organisms. So only 10% of that energy that were picked up was is actually going to be transferred to the next one. All right, so that's basically it. For assignments, we are going to have to be completing the energy loss problems from the science website. And don't forget to do your digital lessons from the thinkcentral.com. This is Chi Martinez from 8th grade science curriculum in the state of Texas. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.